first is Judgment Day for the Knicks. Will these rumors come through to fruition? Will the Vucevic era begin? Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not in orange and blue. Yeah, yeah. You know, but um, let's let's just talk about you know real real briefly just a survey of you know what the cap space is looking like. If the best case scenario, which I would say label as the two max free agents, whichever one of the four Ks you want to put together, if right. that best case scenario comes to fruition, you know what type of space are we dealing with here? Who could be impacted by potential roster moves and? You know, how else can we fortify this team to make it a, a true com- competitor? Yeah, well, I mean, it, I guess dovetoving, I dovetoving, dovetailing. <laughs> <laughs> that was my moment of the season right there. Yeah. There you um, go, I love it. Uh, and I don't even really know, I guess I'd have to even think about what that even means. All these sayings <laughs> are just in your... But um, off the lottery is important because it is sort of ironic where, you know, Obviously, you want the Knicks to get the number one pick. That is the most important thing. You can always create more cap space, moving someone like Frank, Dennis Smith Jr., whatever you need to do. They they will have space to sign two max free agents. And it's not just two max, because Kevin Durant is a 10-plus year veteran. His max is a little bit higher. So they will have enough to sign both Durant and whoever that second star is. But if they don't win the lottery and you end up with, say, the second pick, the difference between the second and the fifth pick is, you know, does impact your cap a little bit because the salary, what it is, is when you draft, a, when you have a draft pick, that draft pick doesn't count anything against your salary until the draft. But then once you draft them, they count for 120% of their rookie scale. So for someone like Zion, that's actually $9.7 million that goes against your cap once yeah. you draft him. Hmm. For the fifth pick, and I'm looking, yeah, so it's $6.3 million for the fifth pick. So that's like a $3.5 million difference, which is coincidentally about what someone like Alonzo Trier's club option would be. So I guess what I'm getting at is if you don't win the lottery, you still want the highest pick because that has the most value, but you just have to keep in mind that it does impact who they can bring back. And the way that I've calculated it out, if they wanted to keep both all of the young guys, so Frank, uh, Desmond Jr., Knox, Mitch, but then also Dotson and Trier, they would only be able to do that if they got the fifth pick in the lottery, mm. assuming the cap is actually $109 million exactly. Mm. So the, the point being, if they don't, if they end up with like the second pick, they're going to have to move some salary if they then want to sign the two max players and also bring Dotson and Trier back. Obviously, Dotson's a lot easier because he's basically making them in. Yeah. But it, they just have to guarantee it. But really, it comes down to Trier. If they want to bring him back, they're going to have to make a decision. And to me, it comes down to probably him or Frank. And it might be they kind of they kind of landscape what the trade market is and they see what can they get for each. Because remember, they can't they can't technically trade Trier until they exercise his club option. Mm. But they could do that and then trade them. So if they got a decent return for one of those guys, maybe that's what they do. And then that gives them the cap space to keep all the other young guys. But, you know, to me, the summary is they have enough space to keep Frank, Densmith Jr., Knox, Mitch, two max free agents. Mm-hmm. They then will have the room exception around $5 million and then all the vet mids. That's basically what they have. But if you want to add in Dotson, Trier, someone else, that's where you get into moving someone like Frank, or I don't know if Dennis Smith Jr. You you know you might have to do that to get an extra three to four million dollars to um, to make it all work. That that is going to be interesting, mm. man. That is going to be interesting, Jay. So the, so myself. the decision on ISO is going to be June twentieth, same date Jesus. as the draft, right? Right. They'll have to decide if they pick up that option at three point five million. So, so you expect if you won the first picks, um, someone's going to be tr- more than likely traded on draft. Be moved. Exactly. I think if they get the first pick, then it creates an issue where unless you, you, um, you know, you just w- didn't w- like those players anyways, so you weren't worried about get, losing Trier or, or Dotson or players like that. That's one thing. But I think I'm thinking they like Trier. I mean, Fizdale's already said, I think, that he plans on having him play in Summer League. I don't think he's yeah. saying it yeah. thing about the option. But I just think if they get the first pick because that takes up so much cap space – 
it means that someone like Frank is almost certainly it's gone. Probably gone. Mm-hmm. He's gone. That cap space, and they like I think Trier more than Frank. And that yeah. and that's how much savings would that be if if they traded Frank? How he's much like, cap would you get back? Yeah, he's like four and a half million around there. Four four point four million. You, so if, if you trade Frank, you could have everybody else back, even if you get the number one pick. It's exactly. Right. That's what makes it. That's what makes it easy for him. How much is the uh, the vet minimum? Well, it depends on years of service. So, okay, okay. you know, if you're like, um, you know, a first or second year player, it's around a million and a half, but it can go up to, I want to say it's like 2.7, around 3 million, but, but you can sign unlimited amount of vet minimums. And they also, like I said, will have that room exception. That's the one exception they'll have left. Um, Which is about four or with, five million. Yeah. About four and a half, five million dollars. So that once you max out your space, so, for instance, in Trier, you could theoretically get the number one pick, sign the two max players, decline the option on Trier, but then bring them back for more money under the room exception. Mm-hmm. So you could go and or fit Trier and Dotson under under that amount, right? I mean, Dotson right. makes so little. I think he, if they want him back, he's going to be back. I'm not worried about him. It's really Trier. And yeah. um, so they could go that route, but they could say, we want to use that room exception to get a veteran who's willing to take less money. That's how I would use it. Players. That that's how mm-hmm. I would use that. I think that would have to. If you're talking best case scenario with two max, that room exception has to be used with somebody that can be, you know, a third or fourth guy that you can kind of rely on. You know, a shooter, from, a shooter, a shoot. Yeah, please, three so, point shooter. Unless KD coming here is contingent on Jordan uh, also staying, in which case you're you're probably that you're that's what it's used on. That's right. What it's used I mean, on. the thing that's crazy is you could kind of make the argument that if you assume you can, whether it's Trier or someone else, you could get for around like three and a half million dollars. Mm-hmm. The difference between picking first and fifth is also the difference between getting maybe one extra player under the cap without having to, and then you could argue like you're moving someone like a Frank, you could technically move for like another player. It doesn't have to just be for a draft pick to clear up the cap space. So in a weird way, it's like, yeah, still Zion is obviously worth it all, but you got to consider if they fall to fifth, it gives them a little more space where they actually would be able to keep maybe one extra player. It's like you're getting the fifth pick and a three and a half million dollar player versus just the first pick. 